anybody wants to leave, they can now. Because this team is not free to play friendly. It's very pay to win. This is made for Krakens, basically. The gear requirements are pretty insane. And as far as the champions go, it's very pay to win. Or maybe even made for those who've been playing for about five years plus. Something like that. The point is, this is not going to be accessible to most of the player base, so you need to know that ahead of time before I start beginning and explaining the epic tale of how this team came together. Yesterday, during the free Regear Silver event, I decided that I wanted to make a new Sand Devil 25 team. As far as teams go, the way that the Sand Devil is, it's very conditional. You need to have very specific champions with very specific key components to them in order to make this work, in order to, if you wanted to cheese the Sand Devil, right? So for an example, a Neri and X champion, I don't know, Ninja, Walking Tomb Drang, you name it. Fat Man, Farrakhan and the Fat. In order for that team to work, you need to have pretty insane gear. There's high gear requirements for a Neri to duo with somebody else and you need to have a five-star blessing, or you need to have very specific books. Now, uh, I've done multiple videos on Aniri with somebody else before, but I wanted to try something different. I wanted to try something new. And the end result is this team right here. I have never seen a, a team go this hard before this fast. It's pretty insane. And um, like I've seen other people make comps before, sub minute and my goal honestly was just to be under a minute for sand devil i did not expect that i would be able to do this in 10 turns and 16 seconds and i've run this quite a number of times it hasn't failed yet but we'll talk about all that um pretty much soon so the way this came about was i was looking for a team and so i do what all of you guys do i go to youtube and i try to figure out how to make a faster team now i did see that hell hades came out with a team that incorporates mother cybel and something else but i didn't want to build mother cybel and i ended up coming to a composition that tairaku shared and so initially i saw this team and i i was interested in building this team because it does it in 22 seconds in 14 turns this is the fastest comp that i've seen on youtube currently I went to YouTube, I typed in speed farm teams for Sand Devil 25, and like this was at the top. 22 seconds. If I'm wrong, let me know, but this is all that I've seen so far. And I wanted to build this team, so he incorporates Siffy, Ninja, uh, Aniri, sorry, I see, I, I, I automatically think Godseeker Aniri and the Ninja, but Aniri going slow in Stone Skin, Nut, or Newt, as people like to correct me. I'm gonna say Nut anyway. Riho Bone Spear and then Prince Kaimon. Now Riho Bone Spear is a key champion for this composition. It's not going to work without Riho Bone Spear. And that was an issue for me because I don't have Riho Bone Bone Spear. The reason why Riho is so necessary for this composition is because she's able to place all of these debuffs without actually touching the Sand Devil. And so what do I mean by that? Let's look at this. He's asleep right now, all of these debuffs go up, but you can see that Romantu hit him multiple times and the sleep counter went away. What Riho Bone Spear does is that she is able to place those debuffs, like 72 different debuffs, without messing with the sleep counter. And so, if you didn't know this, I'm gonna talk about it, the Sand Devil actually right here, and this was pointed out to me by Tairaku, because I, I don't know anybody who actually sits down and reads this unless you're a content creator, but even I don't. The Sand Devil will reduce the damage that he receives by 75% on stage 25. However, this innate damage reduction is decreased by 10% for each debuff that Al-Name? 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 Is currently under. Basically, the more debuffs you have on the Sand Devil, the more damage you're going to be able to do. So, me not being an expert, you know, I, I, I toiled, I spent probably like a thousand energy, in hindsight, maybe comparatively to some of you, that's not a lot, but to me it was. Wasting away the energy, um, trying to make it work, trying out different compositions, trying out different teams, I mean, 
it, it just wasn't working for me. And of course, what we already knew is that Riho is the key, the key player there. But I'm not going to go out and just pull a Riho out of nowhere. So I went to Discord. I hit up my boy Synth. I asked them, hey man, do you know how to build this team? And uh, he was like, okay, let me build this team. So he built the team, except he changed out Kaimar for Yumago. And he was able to do it in 28 seconds and 17 turns. Pretty awesome. I thought I had something here. I was like, okay, well, maybe he can help me put together a team. And it turns out, you know, I'm going to fast forward a little bit and then I'm going to come back. It turns out that since Siffy is actually super, super, super tanky. And the only reason that the comp works for him is because his Siffy is able to outlast the damage that the Sand Devil is putting out. So the way his team is working is um, everybody dies in the end except for Siffy and Godseeker and Neri. Then Godseeker and Neri is going to revive Newt, and then Siffy revives everybody else, and the, the entire thing just, just works. Great team. He wasn't trying to do it, but he did it. And it was funny because we didn't know he wasn't trying to do that. It just happened. So I even said, like, hey, man, can you VC with me for a bit? And so for two hours, just about two hours, uh, we were talking back and forth like two goldfish. Uh, granted, Synth has more experience than I do, but we were theory crafting as best as we could. And just at the exact moment that we were about to give up, right at the moment we were about to say, you know what, we're gonna call it quits. I guess I just have to wait until the day that I can pull a Riho Bone Spear or maybe pull a five star Godseeker and Eerie Blessing. Just as we were about to walk away, out of retirement, Tavish pops in. You just hear the and you hear him go, and I, hey guys, what's up? And then he starts talking and then I'm like, oh my God, Tavish is here, we're saved. Because if you guys don't know, pretty much every great successful team that is that I've showed that I've showcased on my account was something that was made by Tavish. Tavish is just an absolute theory crafting genius when it comes to Raid Shadow Legends. He's done pretty much every speed team that I have. He comes from the tombs of Nazarick. If you don't know, they are like, for the most part, I mean, they retired, but he um, was able to do most of my teams. He, he's part of that. That clan has sent Callus, um, other names that I, I don't really remember off the top of my head. It was mostly sent and Callus because uh, Tavish was mostly talking about them, but they make the leaderboards all the time. Funny story. I was actually in the Tombs of Nazareth for some time, and I remember uh, I remember actually this is like, I was so, so like, I don't want to say dumb. Oh, Loki, no, I was a dumb. So I joined, I joined the tombs of Nazarick. And um, this was around the time that Pytheon was released. And who did I pull? I pulled um, some void legendary. It wasn't, oh, it was, it wasn't Vlad. It was his brother, Constantine. So I pulled Constantine. And I'm trying to learn how to like build champions. This is before I was doing content creation, before I was doing um, Twitch streaming and everything. And so like I I, uh, I I build Constantine, right? And I'm like, all right, well, I'm trying to build him as best as I can, and I'm gonna ask them how how the build is. So I post my my Constantine build in the NZ Discord server. I'm like, hey guys, what do you think about my build? And they started bagging on me, and it's actually funny looking back on it. Because I had put Constantine, who was a Void Legendary, I had built him in Affinity Breaker. Let that sink in, guys. But I digress. It was just a funny moment that, I, that we'll never forget that we still make fun of, um, you know, my ineptness back then. But anyway, so Tavish rises from the tomb, rust and dust cracking off of his skin, the barnacles fall off, you know, whatever you want to call it. And he's like hey guys how are you doing and i'm like oh my god we're saved and then since like yeah he's here we're good now we're gonna have a team you know ha half-heartedly joking ish but then also 95 percent sure that after i asked him for help he was gonna come up with something so this is what i tell him i'm like tavish i need a team for sand devil 25 can you help me and so he's like yeah hold on like i'm i'm actually on xbox right now i'm playing destiny 2 he's playing pvp like, what, do you, what exactly do you need? I'm like, okay, well, I, I I have a team that I'm trying to build for Sand Devil 25. It's the Tyraku team. 
And I wanted to know if there's anything that you can do because I actually can't build this team. Like, do you have any ideas? And he's like, oh, uh, of course. Like, who's, who's your roster? So I, I show him my roster and I, I tell him who I have. And I crap you guys not, dude. In about 10 minutes, and keep in mind, he's still playing Destiny PvP. This isn't like, you know, he's not even really paying attention. He's half paying attention. Within 10 minutes, he comes up with a team. He tells me, okay, this is exactly what you need. These are the exact stats that, or let me go back here. These are the exact um, speeds that you need. He's like, all right, let's put the presets down. He's like, okay, nut, you're going to have both nuts. You're going to close out their A2s because you don't need them. And you're going to open with your blessed bashes. You're going to prioritize the blessed bash. You're not going to have to worry about anything. Siffy is going to open with her A1 and then prioritize her win romance. And then I'll tell you guys why the presets are the way they are. And then Seal of Magic for Kaimar's A3. And then Romantu is just going to do his A2. So, you know, he's continuing his game. Synth is talking in the background too. And I, I build the team exactly the way that Tavish says. He's like, okay, put them in Savage. And then I run the team. I click start. And I run it. And everything moves exactly the way Tavish said it would. A1 put the Sand Devil to sleep. Romantu is going to lay down all of these debuffs, increasing the damage that's received. Kaimar is going to reset everybody's skills and boost turn meter. And then Siffy is also going to boost turn meter as well. And the run is done. 16 seconds and 10 turns. When this happened, my mouth dropped. And I was streaming this on Discord. My mouth dropped. Synth and I were quiet. And then Tavish starts talking again. And I'm like... Tavish, you diabolical mother, you know, and I'm like, holy, because my mind is blown. I didn't know I could do this or that this team could be done. And what baffles me more is he was able to come in and do in about 10 minutes what I was struggling to do all morning, what Synth and I were struggling to do together for about two hours on VC. He did this in 10 minutes, guys not even fully paying attention. He was playing Destiny on the side while crafting this team for me. Tavish did it again. It's insane. And I had to share this video with you guys. I had to share this team with you guys. I know it's not free to play. Let's run it one more time just to see the absolute beauty behind it. Sleep, debuffs to increase damage, Blessed Bash on Newts. Kaimar is going to reset, increase turn meter. Sippy is going to increase turn meter. Romantu doesn't really need to do anything, but he does. Nut goes again. And then nut goes again, 16 seconds, 10 turns. That's insane. And again, this hasn't failed uh, at any point yet, but I do imagine that it could fail if I get 3%ed. But so far I've run it about 20 times and it hasn't failed yet. I do think that if Romantu did not land his debuff, like if you get 3%ed, I do think it would fail because you wouldn't be able to do enough damage. Thank you for 1,175 subs. All right, so the first champion that we have here is going to be Siffy, the Lost Bride. Here are the pieces of gear. Now, the way that Siffy is working is you only really care about her going fast. You want her to go first in the turn order. You want to make sure that she is going faster than the sand devil if you decide to build this team these are the stats she's going at 382 and again as far as speed we're not really sure exact speeds for siffy as long as she's going first in the turn order and her a1 is basically the first thing that pops off it's a hundred percent chance irresistible um it says this debuff cannot be resisted and this happens only if the turn the target's turn meter is equal to or above 50%, it's a 100% chance to place sleep. So the run starts out with Siffy placing the Sand Devil on sleep. And because by the time that the Sand Devil um, is about to take his turn, his turn meter is above 50% or something like that. So he goes straight to sleep. By the way, the Sand Devil does have a passive that prevents you from putting him to sleep multiple times. Because what I was trying was Siffy with Chogger. So Chogger was in a in a day set. I've seen people burn him in a toxic set, but I don't have toxic gear. And every time that his passive procs for the poisons, every time the Sand Devil takes a turn, poison debuff ticks. And that activates Chogger's 
um, passive for him to attack with his A1, which places the Sand Devil on sleep. But that wasn't 100%, and that still wasn't really that fast. It was about a little over a minute. The other thing that matters with Siffy is her A2, which fills the turn meter of all allies by 10%, as well as placing increased speed. This pushes up everybody's turn meter faster so that we can do what we need to do. Again, the gear requirements are pretty high, and you're going to be needing to go relatively fast. Here are the masteries for Siffy. Again, this is a Siffy that I use for pretty much everywhere else in Raid, so just keep that in mind. Here is Kaimar. Kaimar is, well, let me show you the pieces of gear just so we can continue with um, following through with what's needed. Pieces of gear, or just following in the turn order of how I'm doing things. I'm trying to keep it, keep it together. All right, so Kaimar, we actually had to drop speeds for. We had to make sure that he, and I'll show you guys the speed ranges later. Kaimar is going relatively slow, but with the meta, according to Tavish, according to Tavish and to Synth, with the way that the meta is now with our Mons and Polymorph, you don't even really want to be using Kaimar in Arena anymore, for the most part. So he is slower. Uh, you know, I don't really think I'm going to be using Kaimar in Arena anymore at all anyway, in light of the new information that shouldn't have been new, but it's it's a lot of things go over my head. Anyway, here are the stats. The only thing that matters really is the speed. And this is the same Kaimar used for other content like speed farming, uh, well, not speed farming, but wave clearing, basically. Fully booked. And here are the masteries. I don't think I've mentioned this, but uh, don't blindly copy masteries. But you can go ahead and blindly copy these masteries. Before we get to the nuts, I'm going to talk about Romantu. Here are the pieces of gear for Romantu. We wanted to make sure that Romantu actually was at a pretty decent speed. He needs to go second in the turn order. And I think that's just how it needs to be. I don't know what it would be like if... No, I'm pretty sure he needs to go second. But basically, we're prioritizing speed and accuracy. 286 speed is just about where we need him to be. Uh, and again, I'll show you the speed ranges later. 700, I do use that. Um, I do use Drake's Blood in Arena as well. So it's necessary to have him with high accuracy and make him fast as well. Here are the masteries. You can take Eagle Eye if you're struggling to get more uh, accuracy. Oh, and by the way, the purpose of having Ramantu Drake's Blood is so that he can place all of these debuffs because the more debuffs you have, the more damage your newts will be able to do. Speaking of nuts, I've got two of them. Now, he said, Tavish said to build nut, both of my nuts, in Savage gear. So they're both decked out in Savage. Here are the pieces of gear. We're prioritizing speed. So they need to go at very specific speeds with very specific ranges that I'll show you guys and talk about again later. But basically, speed and then damage output. And um, here are the total stats. So 254 speed for this one. The second one needs to go a little bit slower and we'll go over that. Make sure he's crit capped. Make sure you have high defense. And when I'm talking about high defense, usually what I go for is about 5,000 uh, defense. And if it's an attack-based champion, then you're looking at 5,000 attack. But 5,000 defense, crit capped at 100%. And then I like to go for 250 in terms of crit damage. Again, I do use this nut in other areas of the game, like Fire Knight. He does need more accuracy, but with the way that my Savage is set up currently, I can't pump up that accuracy, but eventually I will be able to. And he's basically here just to use his A3 Blessed Bash to do his EMHP moves. Here are his masteries. If you want to go ahead and take Giant Slayer, that is a good option. I think you might get away with Helm Smasher, but because I do use him in Fire Knight, I think Giant Slayer is a good choice. Pretty much the same thing here with this Newt. Here are the pieces of gear, prioritizing the same thing. Damage and the correct amount of speed. And for this nut, we're going at 249 speed. They do need to be a certain amount of speeds away from each other. Crit cap, about 250%, a little more uh, defense than the other newt. And it kind of balances out. So we're missing 1% below the line that I like to meet, but we're also going over the line that I like to meet by quite a bit here. Low on accuracy, I'd like to increase this accuracy because I do use the second newt in ice or um 
Hard Fire Knight. Here are the masteries for this one, which is basically the same thing as the first one. Gonna go over the presets one more time for everybody. Newt 1, Newt 2, Siffy, open so that she sleeps with her A1. Then she comes around and she does her turn meter boost here. Prince Kaimar is only gonna be doing his reset for the skills and then turn meter boost. Romantu, like I said, is gonna place all of these debuffs. Initially, what was wrong with me trying to use Romantu because I, I tried using Romantu before, but my tunes were off and I didn't know about it. Like I looked in the Hell Hades optimizer to try to make this work and I did see a few teams that were pretty quick. I think like a 50 second team. Because Romantu does hit four times, the Sand Devil's counter does decrease before my Newt can actually do something that he needs to do, which is um, kill. And um, that's why Riho was pretty much necessary for Tairaku's team. Because she places it, she doesn't actually touch the Sand Devil. As far as those speed ranges are, I would try to stick with the speeds that I pretty much have if you're trying to build this team. Siffy has a range of 10 between 380 and 390. Romatsu is anywhere from 285 to 290. In fact, I had to glyph up some speed because Romatsu initially was only going at like 281, I think. Now the newts, Tavish said, was they need to be six to 10 speeds away from each other. I think that's what he said or something like that. Um, so the first newt is at 254 and the second one was at like 247, I think. I, I can't really remember off the top of my head as I'm talking about this. But just know that they can't be like right next to each other. Try to get like six speed um, a separation between the both of them. Prince Kaimar is going at 220 to 228 speed. In fact, between these two nuts, there's a speed difference of five. Thank you, Tavish. And if any of you guys want to see a team that is a little bit more accessible relatively, check out this team right here.